Once the center of West Africa's largest and wealthiest empires, Mali is now one of the poorest countries in the world. Since Mali's independence in 1960, the government has taken billions of dollars in development loans, but the benefits of these loans rarely reach Mali's poorest. Women and children are especially vulnerable. In this context, Oxfam America, the Strom Foundation, and Freedom from Hunger work together to develop a new program to reach poor women throughout Mali, changing the way loans impact livelihoods where credit is scarce. Chogad was one of the first villages to try the program. Jogar was founded in the 19th century by laborers building Africa's largest railway. Life in the town centered around selling goods to train passengers. Named after the train, Jogar means Joe Station in French. Today the town lies beneath the ruins of a broken water tower built by Malian labor in colonial times. For half a century, wealth has been extracted from Mali, and without money, there's no way to maintain infrastructure. Tijan Sangare is counselor to the chief of Jogar. With no money, this dam could not be maintained. To solve the problem of chronic poverty, international loans have been offered throughout Africa following the claim that development profits will eventually cover the loans, plus interest. After 50 years of independence, those profits never came, but the interest did. By 2004, most of Mali's annual development loans were being taken just to pay off interest from previous loans. In exchange for relief from a small fraction of its debt, the World Bank required sweeping privatizations of Mali's public assets, including the railway. Worth 105 billion African francs, the railway was sold for only 7 billion. Run by an American company, most of the stations were shut down. Jogar was devastated. Jogar's electricity left with the train. Les institutions de microfinance constituent aujourd'hui un espoir pour toutes les populations africaines, et plus particulièrement les populations pauvres. Elles permettent à ces populations qui n'ont pas accès aux services financiers formels d'avoir des ressources qui sont à leur portée et qui peuvent leur permettre Sopna Lee is an expert on microfinance institutions, or MFIs. Unlike international loans, the purpose of MFIs is to offer loans directly to those who need them most, the poor. When shocks occur, like drought or the loss of the train, the poor are forced to sell their assets to survive, losing their businesses. Thus, even when the shock is over, they're trapped in a deepening cycle of poverty. For this reason, loans are critical to the poorest. However, 90% of Mali's population makes less than $2 a day. Charging enough interest to cover the administration costs of MFIs makes it a challenge to reach the poorest of the poor without overburdening them. Throughout West Africa, some women organize lending groups on their own, called tontines. Drawing from this traditional model, Oxfam America and its partners launched a pilot program in Jogar. The program is called Saving for Change, or SFC. The difference between EPC and the other institutions of microfinance is really great, as I said. The idea of EPC is founded on something that on connaît déjà la tontine traditionnelle. Euh, L'organisation qui travaille avec le groupe n'apporte pas forcément de fonds, n'apporte aucun fonds. Et tout se passe dans le groupe. Et c'est le groupe qui épargne, et c'est le groupe qui utilise son épargne pour faire des prêts. 
This approach to development empowers women with their own funds to deploy their own financial strategies. To achieve this, Oxfam works with local nonprofits operating in Mali. Technical agents are sent to teach women to participate in the program. They save together each month and offer loans to each other. At the end of each year, the fund is divided and shared by all the members. Since the women administer the fund themselves and the interest stays within the group, this system can reach the poorest people and the most remote places. Before becoming a coordinator for Oxfam's partner, Tonus, Jibril was a technical agent in Jogar. Tout a été difficile à Jogar. Même avoir un seul groupe a été très difficile. In Jogar, where so many other projects had failed, trust was a serious challenge for SFC. Bon, à donner la mort de tout ma famille. Quelle est ton sur la là? Parce que dans les recueils, faut que au bout d'un an, on voit faire un grand coup à tenir. The key to trust in the program is transparency and local control. The financiers and vested interests are the women themselves. Tout ça montre que le fait que elles ont confiance, elles savent que l'argent là, ça leur appartient, ça ne va nulle part, et c'est en fonction de leurs besoins que l'argent là est utilisé. Donc, qui fait qu'en réalité que l'argent est suivi et elles, sont, elles, elles appliquent les règles. In the first year, a single group of dedicated women began the program. Dala convinced Aminata to join. Ami is popular with the neighborhood children. <laughs> When a group member asks to take a loan, the group decides together if the amount and the purpose are appropriate. <laughs> Aminata has taken this loan to keep her business afloat during an emergency. One month later, she must pay it back with 10% interest. At the end of the year, she receives the money she had been saving, plus her share of the interest collected from all the loans offered that year. The women use both the loans and the annual payout to survive crises and invest in micro-enterprise. For many women, the savings shared at the end of the year provide opportunities for larger investments than the loans themselves. This year, Fanta used her savings to buy a donkey cart. Mm. 
problème ka cha c'est ka do ki re ni tete ka ni no ite juru sur fancy ki ba ta ki be mako dakala te ka ni be c'est ka da juru ta ki su kono ya che fini c'est ka ko ko cha man ki re ali ka do mo re na fan do re di the program's ability to sustain itself once the technical agent is gone is critical. When dealing with money, tensions can run high. <laughs> Mrs. Dante paid half of her loan back early, hoping she could avoid additional interest the second month. When the technical agent leaves, it's up to Dalla to resolve problems and keep the group together. With 79% of Malian women unable to read or write, accounting is a major challenge to the group's independence. In order to make the program more accessible, Oxfam developed a system of oral accounting. <laughs> Many women rely exclusively on the oral accounting system. Working with partners to remember details, the group recites the accounting at each meeting. As one of the few women in the village to complete school, Dala is trained in both written and oral accounting. <laughs> Education reform was a condition of Mali's international debt relief, but mandatory school fees continue to leave a tremendous burden on families. Since the arrival of Saving for Change, many women have used their new profits to pay their children's school fees. Targeting women was key to the program's success. Jogar was an excellent match for the program. With development of the road to Jogar, new infrastructure brought new opportunities for SFC Finance Microenterprise. Jogar grew into a burgeoning market. Market access was a major factor in the program's success. Loans alone can't resolve the deeply structural issues poor women face. The principal factor that limits the impact of the microfinance is surtout the enormous needs of these populations. The microfinance is not an aspect. So, to solve the problem of the financement of the activities, we can't solve the problem of education, the problem of health, the problem of infrastructure, the problem of participation. 
Working in tandem with other policies and programs that address structural inequality, SFC can help the poorest women take advantage of new opportunities. The program succeeds by creating a community of women. Mais il y a des études qu'on a et qui ont été réalisées et qui, qui montraient seulement, euh, qui, qui faisaient sortir par exemple, euh, disons, l'intérêt des gens par rapport au programme Épargne pour le changement. Qu'est-ce que vous aimez plus dans le programme Épargne pour le changement Et la majeure partie des gens disaient la solidarité. Et qu'est-ce que vous aimez encore plus dans le cadre du programme pour le changement C'est en ce moment que certains parlaient de l'éducation. Et c'est après qu'on a parlé d'épargne, un lieu, un lieu pour épargner. Et ensuite, le prêt est venu presque en troisième ou quatrième position. Donc c'est pour dire qu'au euh, départ, ces gens euh, n'ont pas forcément besoin très, tout de suite de prêts. Ils ont besoin d'autres choses d'abord, d'un lieu sûr pour épargner. Et le prêt peut venir après. Aujourd'hui, les problèmes sont partagés avec les femmes. Donc ça c'est un facteur qui quand même entre en ligne de compte dans les milieux sociaux. Working closely with Jibril, Dala shares her experience with other women. Donc on a mis appliqué un groupe mangono. Ni à la jeka groupe mangoro formé que refer. Au groupe mangoro on a bien voulu se dire la vérité. Car ni faut le couper. Il faut naka tabulo formé. Quand on a de baringa on a tabulo mina. Quand tu vas faire les miracles. Today, there are 10 groups in Jogar. As the program grows, so do its political implications. Poverty and inequality are political problems as well. Drawing on the SFC network to mobilize women in the village, Dala challenged the administration Sangari serves in a bid to become the village's first female mayor. When money and politics mix, the task is daunting. As Dala teaches other women to start groups of their own, nonprofits have begun similar programs throughout the world. Within four years, Saving for Change has reached over 260,000 women in Mali. As the program expands into new contexts ranging from remote villages to urban centers, the Bureau of Applied Research and Anthropology at the University of Arizona works with teams of local researchers to track the impacts of the program. How do women pay back loans when commerce is not profitable? Will the program deepen inequalities between lenders and debtors? Guided by continued research focused on women's well-being, the program can positively affect more women's lives. The meaning of this program to the women involved is unmistakable.